Cheers. And now she, she, she had to reap. And like she reminded her that you've got to reap. You've got to reap. You've got to reap. Still expect and also, God wants to give you the desires of your heart. In the hog, even though what you does any married woman want? You have that bone. Every married woman that I know, you have that they want a child. To you put, put on that crown. Of God life. said in Genesis, be fruitful and multiply. You That's why God replenishes the earth. Because you can't. He puts that desire in a married woman, in a married man, to have children. I don't deserve this. That's what will ever affect your heart's desire. Now look at uh, look at verse. Let's see. Let's pick this up in verse 17. But it was true. What are you talking about? The woman was soon conceived and had a baby boy the following year, just as Elisha had prophesied. You see, because she got into a regular cycle of giving, the prophetic entered into her life, and God brought a miracle son for her and her husband. It was a miracle. Praise God. What kind of miracle do you need? Yes, I brought this What kind of miracle do you need? Yes, I brought this trouble. Is your greatest dream and your greatest dream? Well, you see this. If the Shunammite woman hadn't given she would have lived an ordinary, forgotten, childless life. But because she regularly gave to the work of God, she increased, she became a mother, and she continued on a journey to an extraordinary life. Okay. So, uh, I think people, not just in my family and in this neighborhood, but throughout the world, I think they're confused. And I think they're being deceived. I think a lot of people are confused and being deceived. There's a lot of people that are sleeping. There's a lot of people that are woke. There ain't really much I could there ain't really much more I can say. A lot of people are Confused about what's happening. A lot of people are being deceived. A lot of people are sleeping. A lot of people are woke. Maybe, maybe to the point where there might be some people that know the truth. The truth about why people are saying and doing the things they're saying and doing. It's usually people that know the truth that don't really talk much about other people or themselves. Honestly, I stay I stay more on um like Fox Channel, and uh, I you know I pay attention to social media all the way from Facebook to YouTube to Instagram. Um, that's pretty much the deal. You either know the truth, or you're confused and you're being deceived, and you're either asleep in this world or you're woke. You know, like some people, some people woke up 20 years ago. Some people woke up 10 years ago. Some people work, woke up 30 years ago. Some people w were woke when they came out the mother's womb. Some people are probably anywhere from, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years old that are still asleep. Same as is. So true. So there there might be a lot of people that know the truth. The full truth. There might be only a few that really know the full truth. But the thing is, when when you're when you get eighteen and older, you're supposed to find some kind of income. You're supposed to get an income, and if you're living in this world as a human being, you're supposed to have, at least have a government check. If you ain't get, if you ain't got a part-time job or a full-time job, and you don't get a government check, you, the first thing they're gonna they're gonna look into on individuals 18 and older is if they have ancestry or mental illness. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna all these people that are 18 and 18 and let's say 35. That don't get a government check or have a part of the full-time job. They're going to look into them people. 
Don't matter if you're rich or poor. They're gonna look into you if you're not if you don't have a job or income or government. They're gonna start looking into you people. Y'all, you young people that ain't making money at all. You know, I got this one song that said the feds are questioning everybody. The federal government, the feds are questioning everybody. So they're going to really go in on people that they that don't have an income at all. That are just lounging around people's houses or at their parents' houses or at their neighbor houses. They're tired of people just lounging around and not even, not even taking care of themselves.